Please, God. Please, God, let this be true. And thank the heavens if it is. <laughs> Woo! A movie studio behind some of the most iconic superhero films has allegedly purged their woke staff activists in a last ditch effort to save their franchise while their rival doubles down on progressive plot lines. Mmm. Who's the rival? Is that WB? Insider sources suggest Marvel Studios is overhauling its leadership to tackle activist staffers keen to project their views onto plot lines. Oh, come on now. Y'all, the company been talking about like it's, it's their views. The whole company, Disney. The Umbrella Company. But Lucasfilm, the studio behind Star Wars, is said to be continuing to let progressive workers rule the roost. Good Lord. So this means here that if this is true, this means that Marvel movies will continue to get better and Star Wars will continue to suck. That's what this says to me. Both Marvel and Lucasfilm are owned by Disney, but operate separately. Uh-huh. And have their own creative teams. Film Threat founder. Ding, 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 ding. Film Threat. Go over there and subscribe. Tell them Tyro Magnus sent you. Love them over there. It was one of the channels. You know how a lot of you, you've seen, you see one of my videos for the first time, and you're like, Yes! I love this guy. I felt the same way when I first heard uh, Chris Gore talk. First time I was like, who is this dude? I like him. It was a bunch of different clips about him talking about the mo movies and the entertainment industry. And then I found out he had his own YouTube channel. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> guy knows what he's talking about. Trust me on this. Chris Gore made the claims about Marvel during an appearance on the Critical Drinker podcast on Friday. And this is what he said. I do know people who work at Marvel. They have cleaned house. They quietly, months ago, fired all the producers that could be labeled, labeled an activist, said Gore. Gore explained that president of Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, recognized that going woke didn't work. Really? You should have realized that with Captain Marvel and cut then. Revealing that Feige said he tried it and it didn't work. I can't believe they went this far and destroyed so many TV shows, so many movies. I can't believe it, man. <sighs> He's talking about, listen, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Yes. Okay, so you fooled yourself once, okay? Now, the machine fooled you once. Yeah, the machine fooled you once. Twice, shame on you. So after the second garbage woke movie you made, you should have stopped. Let me tell you something. If I try new, new videos on this channel, I might try one, uh, make number one. Maybe I gotta do this a little bit differently. Hanging in. If I try a second time and it don't work, then I'm done. Okay? He's talking about phase four, continued the noted film cricket critic. That is, tried it, didn't work, no Kang, none of these side characters that don't have the legacy of classic characters. Now, that doesn't matter. All you have to do is do a good movie write it right, execute it properly, and um, 
um, it'll work. Doesn't matter if it's not a legacy character or whatever, because look, nobody really gave a damn about Iron Man like that until you did a great movie, okay? I didn't give a damn about Iron Man and all of a sudden I like him because you did a great movie on him, okay? I didn't care for Thor. You guys made me like Thor by doing good movies with him, okay? Um, I didn't like Ant-Man. You guys made me like Ant-Man. I didn't give a damn about Black Widow. You guys made me like Black Widow. I didn't give a damn about Hawkeye. You guys made me like Hawkeye. You see where I'm going here? I didn't give a damn about Thanos, okay? I, I didn't really care for Black Panther, really. It was okay to me. You guys made me love Black Panther. You see where I'm going here? Always loved the Hulk. Always loved Spider-Man, okay? I didn't care about Captain America. You guys made me like Captain America. Didn't care about Bucky. You guys made me like Bucky, okay? Always loved Wolverine, though. <laughs> It doesn't matter if it's a legacy character. No, I didn't give a damn about Blade. You guys made me love Blade. Do you see a pattern here? Make a great movie. Be fundamentally sound with the character. Stay true to the character. And you're going to have a winning formula. I believe they did this garbage for this long. I hope this rumor is so true. Recast Kang and bring him in right and heavy. Hard. Recast Black Panther. Bring him T'Challa. Bring him in fast and hard. Kill it. Do it right. And if Deadpool and Wolverine proves anything, you've heard that phrase. Male and pale is stale. That was a uh, spoken across studios. But if you look at the box office this year, I would say male and pale is money. And that's the phrase that I think people should be, uh, should more adopt. Here's the thing. Equality, diversity, that's a good thing. The problem is you raise people while demoting others. There's a way to raise everyone to equality without making others look like garbage. You can, but you refuse to do it. It's almost as if you like the fan backlash. You like fans fighting. You like the controversy. Okay? So you wanted it and you got it from the fans, didn't you? I've been nice to you the whole time, Disney. I've been nice to you the whole time. And there have been other YouTubers and journalists and other talking heads that have been destroying you. Saying things that I would never say. Getting a little too personal, to tell you the truth, I feel. I've been nice to you. I hope that this is true and you're back to doing good. Because guess what? I was getting way more views when I was talking about stuff that I liked versus things that I don't like. The majority of the time. Now that everybody hates it, whenever I got something bad to say, it's almost like I still get the same kind of views, you know? But I was happier. I'll say that. I was happier, okay? But you look at the biggest video I've ever done. And this is what I mean, like kind of like maybe per video, I guess. The biggest video I ever had was unboxing the Infinity Gauntlet. We were all happy as fans. For the most part, we were all happy as fans. Marvel was riding high and talking about things that are good made me feel better than ranting about things that I don't like. Okay. The doubling down on all the nonsense. You will never get anything good out of Lucasfilm and Star Wars. That's it, said Gore. Look at that. That is a damn shame. Okay, so Lucasfilm... Continuing to flush things down in the toilet, poss possibly, and Marvel possibly getting better. We can only wait and see. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think. Thank you, Chris Gore, for your info. 10 million subscribers. <gasps> Woo!